We are a group of students um, from Penn and we're taking a filmmaking class. We're doing a project with your school. So you might see us around just kind of doing like a little mini documentary uh, about your school and kind of hearing it uh, about your school from your perspective. There was a need developing really to think of different ways of looking at our high schools and we were coming out with a new data system to look at them, we were also doing a survey, but it became apparent that film might be a really powerful way to also have the schools represent themselves or have the schools um, provide a perspective and have the students provide a perspective about what it means to be in a school in Philadelphia. We wanted to promote certain high schools that didn't get the attention that other high schools got to. And Tanya mentioned Amit from uh, the Penn Graduate School of Education and that he was looking to get involved and that this might be something that we could team up. And so we decided with them to create a course in which our students would go and make films about different schools and those films would be posted to the web and parents and everybody could see what a school could offer the children. Bringing in partners like Penn's Graduate School of Education, not only from the instructional side, um, from bringing the students and teaching and creating programs around digital media and student voice is so powerful. Working with other partners like WHYY, again, teaching students how to use equipment and creating their voice and giving that mentorship. It really provides an opportunity for us to do preparation in ethnographic methods and film and, and how to bring the two together through participating in projects with the district, with schools, with administrators, with students, continuing to cement and deepen and strengthen our, our, our Penn GSE's relationship to the district. The class had about 10 students in it, a mix of graduate students from different schools and undergraduates getting together to make short info documentary films about three different schools in West Philadelphia, actually, and North Philadelphia. It's quite a challenge to train students um, who really have no experience in film. Uh, not only are they wrestling with the cameras and the equipment and the software and the hardware, they're actually working with real school communities, teachers, students, um, principals. They're also meeting with uh, senior people at the district level. During class at GSC, um, I got the opportunity to like reflect on myself, reflect on my positionality. I'm from Taiwan, so I didn't have a lot of chance to see the real education environment in, in the U.S. I was, I think, most impressed um, in teaching this the first time with Ahmet with how much the students learned. The kind of conversations we had about field work, about ethics, about the, the contribution of ethnographic research, about field relations, um, about represent, the politics of representation, were so much deeper um, because of the kind of work that they were doing in the schools in partnership with students and teachers. The big thing I learned is the intention behind doing the film project. And so if you're attempting to take an ethnographic approach, it's a particular type of approach that you've established prior to starting out the film work. So it's shaping how you're going about systematically doing what it is that you're trying to accomplish. This course is honest because it requires a certain level of um, mature engagement with a community and trying to understand the needs and the relationships that give structure to a community uh, in a very unique way um, while still being able to represent to an outside audience exactly what those relationships are like and what it means to be a member of a community.
there becomes a much more integrated community in this class between the teaching uh, staff and the students. We're working together to produce these films and we're in the schools together. We're looking at footage together. My role is really to support them in their growth and development as researchers, as ethnographers, as filmmakers, and then just sensitive, respectful people who are interacting with others in the world within this particular setting. So if you're done, just call cut. Cut. In a course like this, it's so it's such a unique experience, um, and I'm and I fully recommend it to any students who are interested in moving out of the box of what a conventional academic experience has to offer. I value creativity so much in just the way I want to approach academia and approach my scholarship. And so um, I'm, I've taken these skills already that I've learned through this course, applying it to final projects here at GSE. That way, right? No, no, no. Well, yeah, you can. You can go through that door all the way on the left. Even though we do really focus on mixed methods a lot, a lot of uh, the work comes down to quantitative analyses. And I've just um, grown to realize more and more we need different ways to look at phenomena and to study phenomena. And I think film just rounds it out. We as a K-12 organization partnering with a higher ed organization, um, it creates that bridge for one, our own students to move forward, for the uh, professionals in higher ed to see it's worth investing in K-12 and give us their experience um, to help us move forward. There are things that we haven't even really thought about or conceptualized that we can probably do with film to enhance the research function.